guys in this video i'll talk about kinetic friction let's get started so when it uh, when the sliding takes place between the surfaces it acts and its direction is opposite to relative velocity its magnitude is obviously constant mu k n where n is the normal reaction between the surfaces in which you are applying the force of friction okay two blocks of mass m1 and m2 are moving with velocity this uh, on a smooth horizontal plane xy plane find the kinetic friction on both okay this is the top view this is top view of the you can assume that this is block one and this is block two block two is i can make one more view let's say this okay so one is moving towards this v1 and v2 is in this diagram into the plane of paper okay so to find kind of friction on both let's start with one i'll say we have to find velocity of one with respect to two velocity of one with respect to two is v1 minus v2 so i'll say v1 is this plus minus v2 is this this is minus v2 okay so when we add these two vectors we get v1 minus v2 in this direction velocity of 1 with respect to 2 so friction on 1 by 2 friction on 1 by 2 will be opposite to will be of obviously mu k normal and the unit vector will be velocity of 1 with respect to 2 cap okay or i can say on block 1 as its velocity is in this direction with respect to block 2 it will try to oppose it relative motion by applying friction on 1 by 2 okay and the magnitude will be mu k n n is nothing but mg of the upper block which is m1g okay so velocity of 1 with respect to 2 is in this direction so friction on 1 by 2 will be in opposite direction similarly for block 2 for block 2 the velocity of block 2 with respect to 1 is this velocity of 2 with respect to 1 is this so 1 will apply friction on 2 opposite to this friction by 2 friction on 2 by 1 and its magnitude will be same mu k n which is mg or mg okay so the friction on 2 by 1 will be this friction on 1 by 2 will be this okay this example is very important so grasp it very carefully in the next example a block slides with speed u naught on a rough horizontal plane find the distance it will take to stop okay let's say the block is sliding with an initial speed u naught okay and it stops after covering some distance we have to find that distance velocity becomes zero so the force acting on it will be mu k n n is nothing but mg in this case so it will be mu k mg and retardation acceleration is nothing but minus mu mg by m because no other force is there so retardation is mu g or specifically mu kg initial velocity u naught final velocity zero displacement is to be found let's say displacement is l so we can say using v square equal to u square plus 2 a s apply 0 equal to u naught square plus 2 minus mu g into l l comes out to be u square by 2 mu g okay 
so this is the displacement in covering that it will stop the next question is block is placed on an incline where it slides down okay this condition you will notice in further videos that if this condition is satisfied it will slide down the block is sliding down the incline so find its acceleration as we know that the block is sliding down so the friction force acting will be mu k n up the incline because the block is sliding down let's just find n this is mg this is normal reaction and this is friction which is mu k n okay kinetic friction is simply mu k n you have to just find the normal reaction take the component this is mu m uh, mg cos theta and this is mg sin theta if theta is the angle with horizontal okay so i can say normal is nothing but mu mg cos theta because there is no acceleration in this direction so n is mu mg cos so n is simply mg cos theta and friction which is kinetic in nature is mu k mg cos theta so the acceleration is mg sin theta minus mu k mg cos theta by m so by cancelling this we get g con g common sin theta minus mu cos theta is the acceleration down the incline in the next example a truck is accelerating with acceleration which is greater than mu g find the time in which it will fall off okay there is a truck and it is accelerating with an acceleration which is greater than mu g mu g is basically the maximum acceleration provided by the friction alone okay maximum acceleration that can be provided by the friction alone so if the truck will accelerate with greater acceleration the block will slightly uh, start sliding in the backward direction and ultimately will fall after some time okay so we have to find the time in which it will fall okay so let's find as the block is sliding we know that the acceleration or we can solve it from this frame of truck as we now know that pseudo forces can be applied whenever we are in uh, an accelerated frame so the pseudo force this force is pseudo force which is m into a and the block is sliding so i can say there will be uh, kinetic friction which is mu mg because n is mg in this case okay don't make a habit of putting friction as mu mg okay friction is not mu mg always it is mu n or mu k n kinetic friction is mu k n in this case in most of the cases n are equal to mg so we put mu mg and the acceleration of the block with respect to truck will be in this direction so i can say acceleration of block with respect to truck can be solved using m a minus mu m g is equal to m of block with respect to truck cancelling m we get acceleration of block with respect to truck as a minus mu g and initial velocity is zero displacement is l and uh, acceleration is known to us we can use s is equal to ut plus half a t square s is equal to half a t square we can say again acceleration of block respect to truck this is also displacement of block respect to truck to fall so time is nothing but 2 into l by a a is a minus mu g and whole root of that so in that much time the block will slightly slide and fall off the truck okay enjoy